Welcome to Duporimo. Dune Steve. Podcasting. Not writing. Come on. Dune Steve. Podcasting. Recording month. Yes. I remember my cousin, when he saw Phantom Menace, said there wasn't enough action in that movie. In Phantom Menace. <laughs> okay. You know, I felt the same way, except for I thought there wasn't enough slapstick in that movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> icky, icky, goo. <laughs> Piusa. Whoopi, whoopi. <laughs> you love the whoopee whoopee. I think I kind of steered us off track from, uh, I don't know how we're going to come back around to well, your let, point. Let me just yell at you. I've never seen the Clone Wars cartoon series. Okay. But I think it's in its third year right now. It really? might be in the fourth. Wow. Soon. I have no doubt that that cartoon series is better than those prequel films are. <laughs> Partly because, you know, it's got real people writing the scripts <laughs> but also because with a broad canvas you can tell an episode that's all about who is mace windu what does he think what does he feel yeah. you can have an episode about freaking sasse tin or shock t or some of these people that i shouldn't even know the names whoa, of. whoa whoa don't use that kind of language around here we're gonna have to bleep that stuff out you know, yeah, or the, you know, the really s- offensive named ones like Kit Fisto and Plo Koon. <laughs> yeah, there was, uh, I don't know if you ever saw that one. It was a mini series, but not <laughs> in the original sense of the word. They were a series of mini episodes that they did of Star Wars, The Clone Wars. And they were... The hand-drawn one. The hand-drawn Tarkovsky animation, one. right. And they did like five-minute episodes that they just kept showing on Cartoon Network. And then at one point... They finally said, okay, let's combine them all in and release them as one DVD as a movie. My son got both of those because they came out, they had two parts. Mm. Yeah, those uh, weren't terrible. They were probably better than the uh, prequels were, although uh, with five minute chunks, it's kind of hard to uh, tell a great story that way. But the thing is, like we've said before, you had people who cared about this stuff it wasn't george lucas saying "Mm, mm, some explosions and here you guys uh why don't you say these lines while the camera's rolling i'm gonna go have a snack right now and then when i come back we're gonna do the wire work i really want to see i'm excited about doing the wire work that'll be awesome but instead you have these people who grew up watching star wars and they're all like yeah it's gonna be so rad i'm gonna be able to tell the story of boba fett when he was a baby it's the advantage that television has over film is that a lot of times it all comes down to the characters. You usually don't have a limitless budget like yeah. you did on the Star Wars prequels. And so it's like, well, what can we do? It's like, well, let's have the best character interaction. Let's have the best dialogue. Let's focus on the performances and, and all that stuff. Hopefully that will get people watching again and again. Because the thing with the cinema is once they've got you in the seat... They've won. Yeah. They don't need to do anything because you've already paid your ticket. But a television show has to bring you back next week and bring you back the week after that. Otherwise, they have failed. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll get canceled by Fox in the third week. Well, that's going to happen anyway. The focus is is on that. and, And that certainly helps, too. Because the going from episodic television to doing serialized television, they took what worked for soap operas people would watch soap operas for years and you know for decades would start when they're 10 years old and still be watching it when they were 40 and there's no budget on a soap opera there's no explosions on a soap opera or whatever all there is is character interaction but people loved these characters people uh, you know had their favorite characters wanted to check in with them every single day and see them get married See him marry their rapist. Yes. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) It's something that just, it worked so well for that. And when you poured it over to a show like Battlestar Galactica, a show like Deep Space Nine, a show like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a show like Lost, it rewards the people for coming back week after week. A a show like Lost, where you have all these castaways, if that were a movie... Seven stranded castaways? The fat guy would have six lines 
And that would be it. And he would be killed brutally. But in a, a show, you can have two episodes per year that are all about the fat guy. Right. You know, I love that idea. And, and I've never watched the Clone Wars show because I don't care <laughs> about those guys. Right. But... And you don't I'm, want to see more crappy CG either. But I know that they could make me care about Count Dooku, care about... I mean, care uh, about friggin' Anakin, which Lucas didn't do. That's right. I'm sure that if I watched three seasons of the Clone Wars cartoon, it would matter when Anakin and Obi-Wan had that big fight to the death. But the truth is, they were never friends to begin with in the three movies we saw. <laughs> right. Uh, I remember seeing some people talk about that when whatever the third one was called the Revenge of the Sith there we go Revenge of the Sith yeah that yeah there were people who were saying that they watched the Cartoon Network mini series thing that I was talking about a minute ago and uh, when they did that part where they're like execute order 69 or whatever it was and then they shot all the Jedis in the back when they weren't looking they said, oh, you know, it's just a quick montage where they killed off all these Jedis. But because I watched that show, I thought that really meant something to me when they killed Orang Utang and, and Green Tea and, and all, the, 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 all those guys with the horns and the ears and the floppy things. They, they were all upset when those people were killed because they watched the other thing and it introduced them and actually made them care about these guys and now here they are getting executed one by one and with one shot each and they're like oh but that was my favorite guy the guy with the the thing coming out of his nose and the long neck and the well yeah not only would that clone wars series make you care about the jedi but I've heard that they've given, like, the clones personalities and all that. You know, they're all different. And this one has a scar and this one has shaved his head and this one has a beard and stuff. And it's like, wow, good for – this. these are all supposed to be clones of the same dude. Right. And yet you've given them different personalities. I never even would have thought of that. Good job. I commend them. I do believe that television is a better medium for storytelling than film is. And the, the reason we got on this subject is – this man who's now going to do Thor 2 directed Game of Thrones. Ah, yes. And with Game of Thrones, you have a 10-hour movie. You know, 10 right. hours to tell the story of all these different characters. And, and you catch up with each one in every episode. And, and there's so many characters in that book that, you know, sometimes these people are like Hurley would have been in a movie of Lost. <laughs> Their 30 seconds of one episode has this guy in each episode – and all that, but geez, it makes you care about all these people so that when awful things happen to them, and believe me, it does in Game of Thrones, <laughs> you feel it. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody hadn't approached George Martin 10 years ago and said, you know, we want to make a movie of Game of Thrones. And how different would that have been to tell the same story in two hours and 10 minutes right. versus 10? I don't know. It, well, I, maybe it would have been Peter Jackson, so he could have told the story in five hours instead of just two. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I would posit that if Lord of the Rings were a television series, it would be even better Probably. than the film. I, I haven't seen the extended endless cuts, but uh, you told me that they're twice as good as the movie was to begin with. That's the same kind of a thing. You're given, you're, you're able to get to all those things you weren't able to get to before. To be continued. Can you say continued? Continued. Can you say continued? To be continued. That Gets My Go is produced under a Creative Commons attribution, non commercial, no derivatives license. Sad but true. <laughs> Oh, Sorry. Blow your nose on the mic and totally ruin everything. Yeah, but not while you're talking. Now we're going to have to clean the mic off, though, for an hour. It's got a snot shield. <laughs>